Hey everyone, Vance Joe Tours here. How are you? It has been a while since I've come on or broadcast anything. I know I apologize for that, but we are currently been working on a new production. As you have heard, we are working on a or producing uh, a 12 episode short film series called Sir Id. And so we had just a couple days ago met with the actors, the filmmakers, and did a reading of the episode that we have chosen to use as a promotional trailer to be able to present to you as to what we are doing behind the scenes. And matter of fact, when we have set a date already to shoot uh, that episode, which is going to be in a couple of weeks on the 22nd of this month of July. And so we are excited that uh, we are been looking forward for this and We've been talking about this for a year, and of course, we've had the filmmakers uh, create some of the stories out of what we, what Vera Mike and I created uh, for Sir Id, and they've done a great job. And uh, so it was neat to just get together and meet all the actors for the uh, a few of them for the first time, and really get to uh, um, get together and talk about the goal that we want to achieve. And we uh, have other episodes already, and we were. Uh, we were already talking to someone, and uh, Mike and I went to go meet uh, a father, Darren, from L.A. and Eagle Rock, up by that area. Uh, he is pretty much a Catholic priest who's a, who, um, who's a Catholic priest to uh, some of the biggest names of, of celebrities. And uh, matter of fact, the filmmakers that did On Planned is a couple of filmmakers that he is connected with and and so it's just great what God is doing and a man that uh, just loves Christ and and is putting a radio program and interviewing program together that he wants to do to help bring Catholics to Christ not so much the Catholic ceremony because he's not one that really uh, is uh, involved in too much of being he has I'm sure he does things in the church but his his uh, his desire is to really reach out to the people and especially in Hollywood where he has been assigned to help the believers in that in Catholic Catholicism to really focus on Christ and the power of the Holy Spirit and I'm telling you it's just amazing what God is doing God is moving and and this really aligns with the message I'm going to bring. I've been talking about for the last two years, Heart Reset for Revival, and you'll see how that would all fit. And so anyway, we have an episode that we wanted to do, and uh, so uh, uh, Ray Mike, uh, Mike and I had an idea about maybe getting him involved in one of the episodes because he would be a fit perfect for an episode that we're doing and fit the, uh, fit the storyline. And uh, so we had uh, breakfast with him uh, last week and, and we just had such a great time of fellowship with him and, and he said yeah I want to do it <laughs> so we're gonna start working on that other episode and it's just gonna really phenomenal it's really neat what God is doing and bringing together so God is really moving on this and 2019 I'll be honest with you uh, you know we may make the plans but God directs our steps and this totally went uh, 180 from what I thought I was going to be doing and uh, so you know there are just times that God is asking us to to begin to do to begin to work on the different pieces of the puzzle that makes the whole picture and they, they will bring the whole outcome of, of destiny that God wants you to achieve and the goals you know there's always a piece of the puzzle that God will say whoa let's get this piece done right now and you know that's what we need to understand that there is times that God is saying that, hey, let's do this piece right now. And it may be out of your comfort zone. Or maybe it's totally a different direction what you thought. Well, yeah, but God, I already have plans to do this. <laughs> so, you know, we just got to learn to listen. And when we do listen, God begins to move uh, totally in, the, in, your, in your favor, you know. And so let's just remember he's the master planner. He's the one that directs our steps. We may have plans, but ultimately he will direct the steps. And I so I just want to encourage you with that because I, you know, for me this was totally different. I thought I'd be broadcasting a lot, and that was my goal. And 
and I've got two broadcasts as I've said my heart reset for revival that I've been talking about for two years and then um, another one an interview that I want to encourage people with called the extreme power of God's love and uh, I just can't wait to get going on that one and uh, I thought I would already be taping that but the production stuff has just really uh, taken a lot of our time and I you know I can understand why you know being involved in it so we're excited uh, July 22nd we start to begin to move and shoot our first episode that's going to be the promotional trailer for the series and so uh, um, uh, uh, hopefully I could come on live during that time behind the set kind of show you guys what we're going to be doing and take some pictures and I'll post them up uh, as we're doing it you know so and maybe just talk and just uh, give an idea of what we're going to do so that's exciting and so hopefully I'll, I'll, I'll be able to do that and we're with myself and Rara Mike and introduce you maybe to the uh, actors and stuff and so we're just we're really excited about what God is doing and so I'm hoping that you're having a great summer uh, with family and and friends and uh, and just keep on going and doing. You know, faith is something, you know, that's on scene. But we have the light of Christ in us. And I was reading the passage, you know, it reminds me of the passage that says, you know, that he is the light upon our pathway and upon my feet, you know. And I was thinking about that and he said, wait a minute, you know, it's just on the path. He's not saying that that he's our light that's ahead of us that we're able to see the whole road even it's just what's in front of us and sometimes you know it's like at night uh, there are times I would be in bed and and, and it'd be dark and, uh, and I didn't want to turn on the light so I can go to the bathroom sometimes I would get my cell phone and just turn it on not the flashlight part but just just the um, illumination of, of just the page you know and just uh, put it down low and I would have to put it low enough where I could see the light leading my way so I don't trip over things to get to where I need to go. And so that's what faith is like. You know, he's the light on our pathway. Why? So that we're always keeping our focus and our and our eyes on the Lord and on the light of what he is directing us to go. And it may be just three steps at a time, but you're getting there. It may be it's it's what's in front of you that will lead you to something that's greater. And sometimes we 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 grow weary and and we may just say forget it. i i don't know how far i'm going and and you know we may just go back and you know and and not finish the journey but i want to encourage you to finish the journey because that's what faith is it's taking those few steps at a time and god's illuminating them in front of you so that you're not tripping over thing but you're going in the right direction for something greater ahead of you so don't stop keep going even if it's out of your comfort zone because there's going to be times that God is going to take us out of our comfort zone and there's going to be times that God is saying this is the direction I need you to go you know, understand it's just, you know I think we get so focused on one thing that that God says wait a minute but there's many pieces to this one thing and we ignore these pieces and we don't go with everything to complete that that goal and so you know listen to the lord and don't worry if yeah but if i don't do this this is not going to happen that's because maybe god wants you to do this over here it, it's going to coincide and align with what you're doing you know there are there are divine appointments and relationships that god wants you to to uh to encounter and if we're just so focused and we're going this is the way i'm going that way and we totally not hear God. Wait a minute! I have a, I have someone I need you to meet that's going to help bring that piece that you need to complete the big picture. And so, uh, this year has totally been uh, surprisingly different. Uh, you know, I knew that we would do this, but I didn't know how much time this could take. And you know, it takes a lot of time. And so, it takes a lot of meetings with the filmmakers and and direction rewrites and you know how and we want to just hear god what god's saying to us and how to you know put the the concept of the episode and of the issue that we're trying to convey to to bringing in the the place of letting god shine in that in that episode and so it's going to be a really great um goal that we're going to achieve here 
and it's totally different than what I thought I would be doing this year. So, uh, so forgive me uh, that I have not broadcast that much, but I got two broadcasts. One I've been talking about two years, as you know, Heart Reset for Revival, and then uh, the extreme power of God's love. That is going to be an interview I'm going to do with somebody in the midst of tragedy or the midst of adversities that that are extreme we need something that's just as extreme to counteract right that extreme issue that we're facing and god is an extreme god and his love will go through take us through the power of his love in in getting through extreme measures to lift us up above the ashes so it's going to be a great um uh, Broadcast. I'm looking forward to getting ready and doing that. Things were a little delayed because of the production. Then I was sick for about 10 days for a while and just had an infection. And so that kind of uh, stopped me there. So but praise God, God healed me and I'm good. And so a lot's been going on behind the scenes. And so in any case, uh, this has really um, helped me to push myself as well. And, and that's, that's the great thing about God. He'll put us in things and places and, and direction that will challenge us, that will continue to, to keep us close to Him, to clean, to trust, and lean in on Him. So that's what I want you to do. Be sure and do that, okay? And so uh, with that, thank you for uh, just continuing to support us and viewing support. Uh, be sure to watch Epic Listening Productions. And matter of fact, that's what this whole production is going to be under. I remember Mike and I are producing this, and and so keep us in prayer. And uh, July 22nd, uh, I'll come on, put some uh, some uh, pictures on, on set, and maybe hopefully maybe do a little live thing uh, at that time, and just kind of show you what we're going to do, and maybe introduce you to some of the actors. So, any case, thank you so very much for everything and just watching. Um, uh, please be sure to send in your emails. Uh, uh, for prayer or whatever and I'll be sure to try to get to you as soon as possible and please give me two or three days to get back with you okay and um, uh, so that I can come in agreement with you in prayer for whatever you need all right well that's pretty much it thank you God bless have an awesome summer I'll talk to you later bye-bye